Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss the CPK 2021 Mathematics previous year questions and some short tricks. Um, this this exam contains 100 questions. The duration is 90 minutes. Each question carries one mark and there is no negative marking for this exam. Uh, the first question is if y is equal to 1 by 2 cos log x plus 7 by 5 sin log x then find the value of x square into d square y by dx square plus x into dy by dx. So, he already given one solution. He is asking to find a solution of that differential equation. x square d square y by dx square plus x into dy by dx. So, by using this solution, we may find the solution of the differential equations by looking at the options. So, you, we can do in three methods. One is Cartier-Euler method. By applying that Cartier-Euler method, we can find it. And another one, by differentiating the solution, we can substitute the uh, second order differentiation of this solution in that differential equation and another one option verification also we can do it. So, I done one, one by one method. So, which is uh, I have this differential equation x square d square y by dx square plus x dy by dx. So, we have to find the value of this differential equation. Uh, we have the given the solution is y equal to 1 by 2 cos log x plus 7 by 5 sin log x. What I did, I, I will do just differentiate uh, twice and substitute the values of that differentiating values. So, I just differentiated once. So, I get 1 by 2. Uh, cos differentiation is sin, sin log x and again log differentiation is 1 by x plus 7 by 5. Uh, sin differentiation is, differentiation is cos, log, cos log x by differentiating log x is 1 by x. So, I get like by taking the common of by multiplying x, we get like this way and after that again I can differentiate the differential equation by second order I get like this way. By substituting this dy by dx and dx square uh, by d, dx square, we get the minus y. So, you just substitute the simply substitute the values, you can get minus y. So, that is the correct option for this first question. So, similarly, the second question is direct statement, which is by using the Taylor series, we can find find the Maclaurin series expansion of log 1 plus x. So, by using the Taylor series, we can uh, simply find the series, which is x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 minus x cube power of 4 by 4 plus so on. So, by using the Taylor series, we get direct statement like this. Way. No need to solve for this. If we remember in the statement, we can directly get the answer. So, that third question is if sin 2x is equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2 x square plus so on, then find the value of a4. a4 means we, we need to find the coefficient of x to the power of 4. So, then only we get a4 value. So, by looking, by remembering uh, sin x expansion, we can find the, the solution of this question. So, we know that already uh, sin, sin x is equal to x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x to the power of 5 by 5 factorial minus x to the power of 7 by 7 factorial so on. This is the expansion of sin x. What I did, I just replace the value of x by 2x. I get like this way the expansion. So, here we can clearly see that uh, the powers of uh, x is only odd terms. So, the, we need x to the power of 4 coefficient. So, here we can clearly see that the coefficient of x to the power of 4 should be is equal to 0. So, the term of A4 should be 0. So, that is only the correct option for this question. So, 0 is the correct option for this question. So, the fourth question is that limit extends to infinity tan hx value how much? So, for this question, we, we may do directly and otherwise by using, it is clearly hyperbolic function. You just, I, uh, what I did, I just substitute the uh, expansion value of tan x, hyperbolic x. So, we know that tan hyperbolic x is e power x minus e power minus x and e power x plus e power minus x. So, what I did, I just take the common of e power x, I get 1 minus 1 by e power 2x. How it is getting means? Uh, the e power minus x is inverse, inverse of that one I, I, and I took that e power x as a common. So, I get 1 minus 1 divided by e power 2x divided by e power x 1 plus 1 by e power 2x. So, by applying the limit this 1 by e power 2x and 1 by e power 2x both are goes to 0. So, I get 1 as a answer.
So one is the correct option for this question. And uh, the fifth question is limit x tends to zero. What is one minus cos x x square? What is the value of for this limit? By applying the limit, what is the value of this function? Okay. So I did like this way, which is if you apply the limit, we get the zero by zero form. So we know that we already studied. Uh, whenever this type of case arrive, zero by zero form, we just use the Ellaspert L hospital C rule. Okay. So what is Ellaspert L rule? We have to differentiate the both numerator and denominator once. So what I did, I just differentiate the numerator and denominator once. We know that the differentiation of one should be zero and cos x should be minus x. I just substitute the thing and differentiation of x square should be two x. So by, the, by multiplying, I get sine x by two x. So again, I apply the limit. I get again zero by zero form. So then what I did, I just apply again the Ellaspert Hall's rule. I get uh, the uh, differentiation of sin x should be cos x and 2x should be 2. Okay, so by substituting the limit, I get cos 0 by 2. So we know that cos 0 should be 1 and 2 is 2. So the answer is 1 by 2. Answer is 1 by 2 for this question. So the sixth question is let C be an interior point of the interval i at which f is i to r as a relative to extremum. If the differentiate of f at c exists, when f dash of c should be, uh, if you remembering the statements of mean value theorem, mean value theorem, this is a direct statement. Whenever this type of relative extremum, extremum means which is whether it is minimum or maximum. Um, so whenever this type of case arrived, directly the point of inside of that interval should be differentiate should be goes to zero. So we can say that directly it is goes to zero. So the seventh question is find the greatest value of the function fx is equal to x cube minus 9x square plus 24x in that interval. So what we do, we just substitute the values of interval points. So we can get whether the function is increasing or decreasing. If the function is increasing, then the uh, last point of the function image of that point is the greatest value. If the function is decreasing means the initial point should be the greatest value of this function. Okay, so what I did, I just substitute the, so I have this, type, this is the given function and I have this interval. So what I did, I just substitute the initial point first. I get f of 0 equal to 0 minus 4 into 0 squared plus 24 is into 0. So I get 0. So initial point I get 0 and the final point I get f of 6 is equal to 6, x, 6 cube minus 9, 6 square plus 24, 6. So by substituting this, uh, 6 value in place of x, I get 36 as an answer. So this means we can clearly see that the function is increasing from 0 to 36. So the function is increasing, the greatest value of this function in between these intervals will be 36. So that is only the answer for this question. 36 is the correct option for uh, 7th question. So the 8th question should be find the radius of curvature at any point of s equal to c log sec. So for this, there is a formula for directly finding the radius of curvature of a point. So what I did directly by he is asking about at a point of radius of curvature. So what I did, I just differentiate values with respect to the independent variable of psi. Okay, so I get uh, log log differentiation should be 1 by sec psi and sec differentiation should be sec psi tan psi. So by cancelling sec psi and sec psi, I may get c into tan psi. So this is only he is asking at a point means we can do it like this way. If we mention the point, then we can use by formula, but he is not asking that one. So we no need to proceed with that. Okay. So we get c tan psi. So the ninth question should be find the evolute, evolute of the parabola, parabola y square is equal to 4x. So in general case, we already know that the proof is not easy. It is like big proof. But in general, we know that whenever y square of 4x, y square equal to 4ax, the evolute of the parabola should be 27a y square is equal to 4x minus 2a whole cube. So he is asking y square equal to 4x. So here the a should be 1. So by substituting a equal to 1, we get directly 27y square is equal to 4x minus 2 whole cube. 
so that is the answer for this question 27 option a one is correct so the tenth one is find the all asymptotes of the curve yq minus 6 x y square plus 11 x square by minus 6 x cube plus x plus y is equal to 0 so for this the the solution is too big so but i will tell you one shortcut trick so in place of y, the asymptotes of the curve should be always in the form of y is equal to mx, mx plus c, mx plus c. So for this, you just substitute the y values mx plus c in place of y. So if you sub, if you replace the y by the value of mx plus c, then you get one quadratic type equation or uh, cubic equation by doing that one you get that asymptotes are 1, 2 and 3 and c value should be 0 by substituting those things we directly get this one so this is the correct option for this question so 11th one is find the minimum value of u into x comma y is equal to xy plus a cube x plus a cube by y so so what is the minimum value for this function? So what I did, if you want to find the possible values, the possible points are which are a comma 0 or 0 comma 1 or a comma a. So if you, you, you can clearly see that if you, if you took that a comma 0, it is goes to infinity. The y value goes to infinity. But a cube by 0 means it is goes to infinity. So which is not possible, a comma 0 and 0 comma a which, which though two points are not possible so i just directly considering a comma a so if you substituting a comma a in place of xy we get that a into a a cube by a plus a cube by a so u a comma a is equal to a cube a square plus a square plus a square which is 3 a square that is only the correct option for this question so you may ask how can i get this a comma a so you can do it by like this way also. If you differentiate partially with respect to x and differentiate partially with respect to y and you can write it is equal to 0, you get that a comma a only the point for this x and y values. So you just substitute the a comma a points in that function and you, get, you may get 3 a square as an answer. Okay. So the 12th question is if u is equal to log tan x plus tan y plus tan z then what is the value of sin 2x del u by del x plus sin 2y is equal to del u by del y plus sin 2z equal into del u by del z is equal to how much so for this whenever this type of question come uh, how you proceed means you can do it lagrange's mean value theorem also otherwise you can differentiate directly so i did directly because whenever this this type of competitive exams, so you can do whatever method you like, which is the shortest method. So I always prefer this type of method. So the u value is uh, log tan x plus tan y plus tan z. I what I did, I just directly different partially differentiate with respect to x. I get that one by tan x plus tan y plus tan z into the differentiation of tan tan x, which is x square x. We know that. So similarly, I just partially differentiate with respect to y, I get like this way and partially differentiate with respect to z, I, I, I get like this way. What I did, I just substituting the values, values of del u by del x and del u by del y and del u by del z in place of given partial differential equation. So, and I, uh, I did the, I took the common for tan x plus tan y plus tan z and we know that sin 2x we can return as a 2 sin x plus cos x, 2 sin x plus cos x. By using that formula, I can take, uh, I think I can take the common of 2 also. So the remaining part I will get like this way, sin x cos x 1 by cos square x. Uh, we, the x square x we can return as, we know trigonometry variable, x square x we can return as a 1 by cos square x. By using the, that fact, I just written like this way. By taking 2 by tan x and tan by tan z, and after that cancelling cos x and cos x, you know that tan, tan x is sin x by cos x. So I will get like this. If you cancel these two things, we get 2 as an answer. So 2 is the correct answer for this question.
So see, the 13th one is if u is equal to tan inverse x cube plus y cube divided by x minus y, the case x is not equal to y. This case is very very important. Then x del u by del x plus y del u by del del y. So if you are if you see this function clearly, so he is asking the Cauchy the Euler method Euler method. So we know that whenever this type of function is there, the directly we have a formula for this. So you may proceed this one. We have whatever the function, there is no matter. So the given function is u is equal to tan inverse x cube plus y cube divided by x minus y. Here the x is not equal to y. The case is very very important. If both are equal, equal means it is goes to infinity. So which is not possible. Then uh, x into del u by del x plus y into del u by del y. Then what is the value for this? Partial differential equation. So what I did, I just simply take the left side of it. Uh, uh, tan inverse I can take as the left side. So I get tan tan u is equal to x cube plus y cube divided by x minus y, which is uh, I can consider as a f f the function I can consider as a f and I can differentiate once this function. Function means I am not considering this one. I am considering tan u. Okay. So by tan u I I get differentiation f dash is equal to six square u. So by Euler function we can directly write this is the formula for Euler method. We just apply this one we get the answer. So I what I did here the n is the nth order of a homogeneous differential equation. So here we can clearly see that if you substitute uh, t as a here t x as a here here the degree is three and degree is one. If you can whenever this type of question come you can directly find the n value three minus one which is equal to two. So the n should be two here by using the homogeneous second order differential partial differential equation. So I get n as a two and f as a tan u. We just consider tan u as a function f. So uh, after differentiating, we we get six square u. So I just substitute two values from here. I get two tan u divided by six square u. Six square u. So by cancelling. We know that tan u is equal tan u is equal to sin u by cos u and sec square u is equal to one by cos square u. So by substituting those values from here, I get two sin u cos u. So this can we can written as a sin two u by using the trigonometric formulas. That that is a basic thing. So I will get sin two u as a answer for this question. So that is only the correct option for this question. So fourteenth one is if h is a homogeneous function x y z of a degree and then this is also same question whatever we applied the condition here he directly ask the that statement so for this no need to solve this is the direct statement we can written as a n s by Euler function so if you remembering the Euler function you can directly know the how to get n s here okay. So he, he he was asking one example here by using the this statement. Okay. So the fifteenth one is find the shortest distance from the origin of the hyperbola. For this question, the calculation part is what is very high. So I will give the idea how to solve this question. So I will give you one idea how to solve this question. So he is asking the hyperbola. For this, what we do? We just take the uh, point from One point from from the curve of hyperbola to the distance from origin to that point, we get the distance and taking the distance and applying the Lagrange's multipliers. This is very very important. By using the Lagrange's multipliers, we get the shortest distance. We get some point by substituting that point value in that in that shortest distance, we get that uh, 25 as a answer. That If you can try. If you don't get it, means I will add this question in another video. So that is only the idea for solving this one. We get 25 as the answer. The calculation part is very high, so that's why I am not going to mention that one. So 16th question is which one of the following is is the necessary and sufficient condition of the differential equation m dx and m dy is equal to zero to be exact. This is direct statement. We can clearly say that if you Differentiate partially the m function and uh, differentiate partially n function. If both both the partial differentiation are equal, then we can say that the 
a differential equation should be exact so this is only the correct statement for this so no need to tell no need to solve for that so 17th one is x square by dx minus x cube plus y cube of dy is equal to 0 so for this differential equation what i do uh, i i just but this is the differential equation 17th question so what i do i just took the part x cube plus y cube of dy as the right hand side and i get the differential equation dy, dy by dx is equal to x square y by x cube plus y cube so we can clearly see that this is the homogeneous differential equation this is homogeneous differential equation so for this what i did i just consider y is equal to vx and that that differentiate with respect to x i get dy by dx is equal to v plus vv by dx so what i did i just substitute the values in place of v i can substitute vx and dy by dx in place i can substitute v plus dv by dx so by simplifying this one by taking x as a common and the x cube will be cancelled and I, I just took that uh, v as a right hand side i get dv by dx is equal to v plus v divided by 1 plus v cube minus v so after that i just uh, take the lcm for this i get like this type of function so after that we can just integrate the function okay with respect to d v and x so we can differentiate and applying the value we know that v is equal to v is equal to y by x so if you substitute this value after integrating you can directly get it the this is only the solution for a given differential equation so this option is the correct one you can get it i i i was already provided the idea how to solve this one so the 18th question is uh, solve x dx plus z dy plus y plus 2z into dz is equal to 0 so for this we no need to solve whenever these type of question will come so you can directly tell the answer you directly select the answer you just integrate this type of function you get here x square divided by 2 and uh, z into y and y into z plus z square dz so you are here integrating with respect to x y z so by applying that one we directly get it x square divided by 2 plus y z plus z square is equal to c because we are integrating both sides means this goes to it, it is 0 goes to as a c so the 19th question is solve x cos x into dy by dx plus y into x sin x plus cos x is equal to 1 so for this uh, i have a solution so x cos x dy by dx plus y into x sin x plus cos x is equal to 1 so for this what i did i just simply divided in with, divided with x cos x so this x cos x will be cancelled and i get one more x cos x here we can clearly see that and is equal to we get 1 by x cos x because i am just uh, dividing with, re, with, re, with x cos x so if you observe carefully this equation in the form of linear differential equations so that is the basic one linear differential equation which is in the form of dy by dx plus py is equal to q so if you clearly observe that the p value should be x sin x plus cos x divided by x cos x and q value is 1 divided by x cos x okay so we have the integrating factor we have the integrating factor e power integration of p dx in e is equal to e power integration of tan x plus 1 by x if you integrate this one we get we get e log x sec x plus log x so we know that log x plus log y formula by applying that one we get that log sec x into x so we know that e power e whenever e power log is there means we can write written as a direct the function x so here the function is x into sin x so i get integrated integrated factor x sec x okay so the we know that the solution of this linear differential equation is y into integrated factor so y into integrated factor is equal to integration of integrated factor q dx plus c so what i did i just substitute the values of integrated factor and q value so i get function like this way so we know that cos x is 1 by sec x so i can return right like that way and 
x x and x and x are both are cancel so finally i get it x square x i just integrating this one we know that the integration of x square x is tan x i get the solution is y into x sec x is equal to tan x plus c that is the solution for this question so this is the third three option is the correct one for 19th question so this for 20th question x is solve the differential equation x square it into p square plus xy p minus 6y square is equal to 0 so for this uh, we know that p value should be dy by dx here so e is not provided but by using some differential equation logics we can say that p value should be dy by dx you, you need to remember this one you, you directly get it the answer for this question so the 20th question we have the given differential equation like this way x square into p square plus x y p minus 6 y square is equal to 0 for this what i did I, whenever the quadratic equation is there we can split it with the factorization in the middle term so i just write like that way this x y p i can return as a 3 x y p into 2 x y p so i can return like that way because if you minus 3 minus 2 x y p i can get 1 x y p okay so after that at what i did i just took the common of x x into p so i have x p plus 3 y minus 2 2 y into x p plus 3 y is equal to 0 so i can return as a two ex expressions x p minus 2 y into x p plus 3 y so by taking the value, value p is equal to dy by dx so what i do i just considering the two cases uh, different different I, uh, first case i can consider as a xp is e xp is equal to 2y and substituting the p value i get x into dy by dx okay so what i did, did i just integrate by multiplying this dy separating both the things i just integrating i get the solution is y is equal to x square c and similarly what i did i just take the another expression xp is equal to minus 3y and substituting the value of p x into dy by dx is equal to minus 3y so then i can separate the x terms one side and y terms one side and just integrate it so i integrated i get the solution should be y is equal to 1 by x cube c so here we have that the both expressions are multiplied so we can write in the in that form we get the solution is like this so this is only the solution for this question so similarly we also get this option one is also correct so we get that one only so for he is asking same question solve y plus px is equal to x to the power of 4 p square so we, we if you remember the clusters form we can directly take the option is this one x y plus c is equal to c square x this is the direct statement of the cluster form or otherwise you may solve by using whatever i did in this previous problem so you can apply that method also you will get the solution for this one similarly this question also you can do it like this way so i already provided the idea so by applying that idea you may get direct solution for that one so that 23 question is he is asking solve d cube y by d x cube minus 3 d y by d x plus 2 y is equal to 0 so we can see that this is the uh, differential equations of degree 3 so we need to it, it is clearly homogeneous function it is homogeneous differential equation homogeneous differential equation the f of x value should be f of x value should be 0 so uh, how I, I, I was solving this question 23 1 so we have this given differential equation so by it is homogeneous function if you find the complementary function this one if it is homogeneous means the complement if you find the complementary function that much is enough for solving the solution for this differential equation if it is non homogeneous means we can find both complementary and particular integral for differential equation so it is equal to zero means it is homogeneous function so but uh, I, I just apply the auxiliary equation i get the complementary function of this differential equation so by taking dy by dx as a m i just substitute the dy by dx as a m i get m cube minus 3m plus 2 is equal to 0 this is the cubic polynomial we can find the roots for this cubic polynomial so you you can easily find the 
roots of a zero or uh, roots of zero of the this cubic polynomial i i get it m minus 1 into m minus 1 into m plus 2 is equal to 0 so i get the values of m is m equal to 1 comma 1 comma minus 2 so by using the um, methods of a writing the complementary function whenever this type of real distinct numbers will come we can write the solution should be in the form of like this one. so if you remembering the conditions whenever uh, auxiliary equation has a distinct real number so you can written as a solution as a yx is equal to c1 plus c2x into e to the power of x plus c3 into e to the power of minus 2x so this is a solution for this differential equation so the option is second option is correct for this question so the 24th one is solve d square y by d x square minus 2 d by dx minus 3y is equal to 2 e power x minus 10 sin x we can clearly see that the previous question we have the differential equation is equal to zero so this is a homogeneous differential equation this type of equations are homogeneous differential equations so these type of differential equations are non homogeneous differential equation so in that time we need to find both particular and uh, particular integral and complementary functions of the differential equation so what i did first of all i will find the by using axel equation i will find the complementary function after that by using some particular methods i will find the uh, particular solution of the this differential equation okay so the 24th question is d square y by dx square minus 2d by by dx minus 3y is equal to 2 e power x minus 10 sin x so for this I, similarly i just take dy by dx equal to m i get m square minus 2m minus 3 is equal to 0 so by we know that this is a quadratic form so i get the zeros are roots as a m is equal to minus 1 comma 3 okay so the the particular complementary function for this differential equation is we know that uh, by using the complementary function conditions we whenever these type of real values are there so we can written as y of x is equal to e y of x equal to c1 into e power x plus c2 into e to the power of 3x so this is the complementary function for this differential equation but this is non homogeneous function so we need to find uh, particular integrals so what i did i just take this part as a first because in the question uh, this is the competitive type exam so we need to reduce the time we can easily solve the question so we get that minus 1 and 3 as a complementary function so you can clearly see that we mentioned that complementary function the coefficient of coefficient of complementary function is 4 and minus 1 is there so which case is not possible you can directly discard this option and this fourth option also we we written right like minus 2 and 1 so this option is also not possible the possible options are 1 and 3 so in between that also the complementary functions only possible so the option is either 1 or 3 so we are not find that particular integral if we find the particular integral you know you know clearly what is the which option is the correct one so from here here itself we can discuss the two options okay so uh, what i did i just take here we can observe that minus 1 by 2 e power x is there minus 1 by 2 e power x is there so no need to find a particular integral for this e power x because the both options are same so we just uh, eliminate this one because this option is we, if you find the particular integral for 2 e power x we directly get minus 1 by 2 e power x because the possible value is same suppose if here one is there then we have to find because we don't know whether it is minus or plus okay so the both values are same means we can find the particular integral of this question so what i did i, I just find the particular integral of this minus 10 sin x okay so i have a particular integral minus 10 sin x uh, i can write d by by dx as a d so i get d square minus 2 d minus 3 so the method of finding particular integral whenever sin or cos arrive whenever pi sin or cos is there we have to find the particular integral by substituting here the coefficient of x should be 1 if it is 1 means we just substitute the in place of d square we can substitute as a minus 1 so by applying like that way I get that minus one, so I just added the two minus one and 
minus 3, I get minus 4. And after that, what I did, uh, I just took the common 2. Uh, this 2 and 5 minus 2, I took the common minus 2. And 2 ones are 2 5 are, I get cancelled here. And uh, what I did, I just multiply d minus 2 denominator and numerator. Because I need a form which is d square. So, but, but here we have only d plus 2. So, we cannot apply again the particular integral uh, method. So, we cannot apply here. So, I need d square. So, that's why I just multiply and divided both sides d minus 2. So, if you multiply like that way, we, we can differentiate directly because d is the, d means d by dx. I just differentiate pi sin x, I get cos x and d square minus 4. By substituting minus 1 and we get minus cos x minus 2 sin x and we, finally we get the 2 sin x minus cos x. So, this is the answer for, this is the particular integral for this differential equation. This differential equation. So, we get that my 2 sin x minus cos x. So, so, we just by looking the options, we can say that which option we get the 2 sin x minus cos x. So, this is the correct option for this given differential equation. Okay. So, 25th one is the question solve d cube minus d square minus 6d into y is equal to x square plus 1. So, here you can clearly observe that the complementary function values are we get here the 0 is the value 1 root and 3 as a 1 root and 1 as a 1 root. So, here 1 minus 1, 3 and 1 by applying the option verification also you directly get the answer for the differential equations. Okay. So, he, he provided the distinguishing uh, roots of a complementary function. So, if you find the directly complementary function, you can take the correct option because there is no similar complementary function solution, solutions are there because in previous uh, problem we have two, two similar complementary function solutions are there which is 3 and minus 1 here 3 and minus 1 so in that time we are we cannot say directly without finding the particular integral but you can here we can say that we, it is non-homogeneous function so we need to find complementary and particular integral so without finding particular integral also we can say the answer solution for this differential equation okay how can I say I can pretend that Differential equation dq minus d square minus 6d into y is equal to x square plus 1. So, what I did by uh, using the auxiliary method, I just took as a d equal to m. I get that the roots, uh, the roots of this differential equation is m minus 1, m minus 3, m plus 2. So, I get m equal to 1 comma 3 comma minus 2. So, by using the methods of writing complementary function, I get y of x equal to c1 e power x plus c2 e power 3x plus c3 e power minus 2x. So, we get that the distinguishing roots here and by choosing, by looking this uh, complementary function, we can directly take that. We get that 1, 3 minus 2 as c1 plus c2 e power 3x plus c3 e power minus 2 x. So, they, this is only the one option for this complementary function. There is no similar complementary function is there in this option. So, we can directly say that without finding particular integral also, we, we no need to find the particular integral for this differential equation. Directly we can say that this is only the option for the given differential equation. Okay, so the 26th one solve x square y double dash minus x y dash plus y is equal to 0 when y1 y1 is equal to x is, is a given solution. So, so whenever these type of question arrived in question paper, you have to know, you have to remember the method of Fauci Euler method. So, I just analyze some question papers for CP gate. So, every time these type of questions are asking. So, you need to clear about these type of concepts. Okay. So, whenever this x square are there in front of y double dash and x is there in front of y dash means you, you directly say that this is a cauchy euler method. Okay. So, I did by applying the cauchy euler method means that is a simple process you can do it directly. So, I, I just explain that one. So, that is 26 one. We have the given differential equation x square into y double dash minus x y dash plus y is equal to 0. So, what I did, I just took, took consider x is equal to e power x and log x is equal to, so I just 
take the right hand, left hand side of this e i get log x equal to t so what i did i just differentiate this log x is equal to t with respect to y so i get d square y by dx square is equal to 1 by x square into d square y by dt square minus dy by dt similarly i get dy by dx is equal to 1 by x dy by dt so what i did i just substitute the values of these differential equations means d square y by dx square i can substitute the value of this one in place of y double dash and dy by dx value i can substitute in place of y dash so i get differential equation like this way with the, here the independent variable is changing and this x squares also cancel this print x squares are cancelling and x is also cancel so finally we get this type of differential equation we can clearly see that these two are same one one is there so we can return as a minus minus 2m like that way I, I directly written that one that axial equation this is also one type of differential equation so i directly took that dy by dx dt is equal to m so and i can find the complementary function for these differential equations by applying the auxiliary differential auxiliary method okay so i i get it m square minus 2m plus 1 is equal to 0 so the m value should be 1 comma 1 so whenever these type of values are come so by using the complementary methods definition these methods are very very important if you don't know means you can go through some um, books or uh, in your ug also you may study it in your bsc so remember that one you get that y of t is equal to c1 e power t plus c2 into t e power t so i get like this way after that we know that we already considered what is the value of t t should be log x i just substitute the values of t in place in place of t i get log x okay so y of x equal to c1x plus c2x log x so this is only the solution for given differential equation i get c1x plus c2x log x so we just check it so the fourth option is the correct one we get it so remember don't forget this method this question is coming every time every year in cp get and it is very important method we just go through this one remember so and another 27 question we have solve d square y by dx square minus 2 dy by dx minus 3y is equal to 2 e power x minus 10 sin x so here e, e, e provided some extra conditions okay so the examiner is trying to always confuse you so, but we already solved this type of differential equation. This is non-homogeneous differential equations. He was provided some initial conditions also. Non-homogeneous differential equation. He was provided some initial conditions by finding the all integral uh, complementary function and particular integral by adding the both the functions. We get the solution of the given differential equation. After getting the solution, you just apply the instant conditions you directly get the answer okay so if you go through the previous one we already solved this type of one because minus 10 sin x we already find somewhere i can remember i think yeah this is we already solved so for this only he is asking e provided instant condition so what i do we know we already know this is the solution for that differential equation so i no need to solve again for this I no need to solve the solution for this differential equation because we already solved that one. So by applying these conditions, we directly get it. Answer is 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 e power x 2 sin x minus cos x. Okay. So and again you can tell one more way also. That is no, no, there is no one more way. You just substitute by using substituting x equal uh, x equal to 0 and y is equal to 2 and differentiate that solution once and y dash of 0 is equal to 4 and x is x is a 0 you get two equations by solving those two equations you get the values of c1 and c2 c1 as a 3 by 2 and c2 as a 2 and that one that much only so this is only the solution for this given differential equation okay so the 28th one is solve x square d square y by dx square plus x dy by dx minus 4y is equal to x square c this is when i already told you whenever this type of x square and x is came means this is a cauchy unit method so we will proceed same as this whatever we did in previous problem but here is asking one more thing it is a non-homogeneous solution so means we need to find both particular integral and complementary function so 
so first of all i need to find the complementary function then i will find the particular integral for this differential equation so if you observe carefully so the complementary function values are distinct whenever this type of complementary values are distinct you can directly say that whether which option is correct because for finding complementary function only we can get the solution for this differential equation you no need to find the particular also so what i did i just i just find the complementary function of this differential equation so that is the 28th one we have the given x given differential equation x square into d square y by dx square plus x into dy by dx minus 4y is equal to x square so by you by applying the cauchy euler method i already i already told you so when i just i just considering y t is equal to i just considering t is equal to log x so i we already solved here wait wait i will tell you we already solved you solved here yeah by considering t is equal to log x we get y d square y by dx square and dy by dx equal to like this way by substituting these by the same question he was asked but he, he was asked uh, we need to find particular also because this is non homogeneous one so by substituting d square y by dx square value we get the differential equation in like this way this two will be cancelled and we get it this i this d square by by dx square i can write as a by the bonus and minus 4y so first of all we need to find the complementary function for this differential equation so i just took by dominance as a m square so i get m is equal to 2 comma minus 2 2 comma minus 2 so for whenever 2 comma minus 2 values are come we just write the here by of t be careful about this by of t because we are using the we are considering t is equal to log x so the solution should be in, in in terms of t only after that substituting t as a log x we get the actual solution okay so y of t is equal to c1 into e power 2t plus c2 e, e power minus 2t so by substituting t is equal to log x we get c1 x square plus c2 x to the power of minus 2 so this is the solution so here we can clearly see that i get that complementary function y of x equal to c1 x square plus c2 x power minus 2 x power minus 2 so this is only the actual value for this question okay so i get 